Hi everyone, um, a bit of a first for me. I'm trying to do a voiceover on my latest watercolour video. So I'm doing some little round doodles. In, uh, I got the inspiration from um, a lady on Instagram that I follow, uh, Creation CC, and I really quite liked what she did, so I thought I'd have a go. What I'm doing here is putting down my paper. I'm using Fabriano. Um, nice size sheet as you can see it's 140 uh, gram weight so sorry 140 pound weight which means it'll take quite a bit of water and I'm sticking it down so that it uh, doesn't uh, buckle quite so much uh, or move to be quite honest so that's that laid down the tape I'm using is low uh, impact masking tape um, you can either buy it from the art store or um, DIY store. Brushes I use, I like Rosemary and Co brushes, but use whichever brush you like, water, and the paints I'm using are Cotman paints, which is made by uh, Winter and Newton with my very dirty palette. Um, and a bit of tissue to wipe the brushes uh, if I've got excess uh, paint on there. And um, what it basically is, it's choosing colours that you like, creating a circle, which I'm doing here, starting with a bit of blue cobalt, I think, uh, watering that down to let it bleed, choosing another colour, creating the rest of the circle, blending it in if I want to, adding a bit of water, let the colours mingle, and just then leave it. Um, the temptation to fiddle is great, I know, because I do it, but just leave it and then the colours will merge. And I'm gradually doing this across the whole page. It's a good exercise to do to loosen up. It's great to play with if you've never played with watercolours before. You know, if you're new to it and fancy having a go. It uh, helps you understand what the water and the paint can do. Because um, the main thing with watercolours is obviously the water. And how it depends how much you put in uh, as to what happens to the paint. The thing with watercolour is though, um, it's one of those products that uh, really does have a mind of its own. You um, can point it in the right direction, you can, you know, sort of suggest what you'd like it to do. And the th only thing you can do really is do what you do and then leave it. Um, if you do go back and start to push the paint around and have a little fiddle, the chances are um, it will all just go completely pear-shaped and you'll end up painting on the back of the paper because you've ruined the front. I know, I've done it plenty of times. So I've just speeded this up a little bit just to um, take it along. But you can see I'm just adding the colours, letting them merge, um, creating circles or round shapes. You know and, and just see what happens um i'll let it run on for a little bit more and uh, then we'll i'll come back and let you know what else is is happening
Well, I'm just coming up to the last one, and I suppose I could say at this stage, can you guess what it is yet? But um, I'm sure you can, but we'll see in the next um, next clip. Right, now you can probably see that they've all sort of wrinkled and they've, they've buckled a little bit. That's because of the water. So the thing now is to be very patient, go and have a cup of tea, go away, have a shower like I did, do a bit of jogging or something, keep fit, come back later when it's completely dry. So the pens I'm using, uh, they're actually waterproof pens and uh, you can paint over them if you want to, but they're great for doodling. And these little chaps that I've done here, the little circles, they just actually are so brilliant for little stylized birds. And as I say, I got the idea from a lady I follow or an artist I follow on Instagram and I just thought they were so good and I really had to go, I had to go at them and I thought, I loved them, so I thought, well, I'll share them with you. And if there's any people wondering what to do whilst we're in lockdown and you've got some paints hanging around, have a play. It's, ugh, it's just such good fun, good for the soul, good for the imagination. Yeah, it's great. And, you know, you don't have to have great drawing skills. I mean, anybody can draw a bird. Surely, you know, give it a go. Who's going to see it? Only you. Yeah, you might like it. Yeah, I've speeded this little bit up here as well. Just to help it move on. But the thing I found fascinating while I was doing this was just how a few strokes you know, on the on the paint that I'd laid down earlier, it just suddenly seems to bring these these <laughs> blobs of paint to um, characters. I mean, it's it's amazing, really, um, and they they were great fun. All these little characters suddenly appearing off the page, and um, I'd love it. And I thought afterwards, you know, they'd make great, you know, Christmas cards or greetings cards. You know, start now for Christmas. You know, you've got plenty of time. You can order um, blank cards online and then you can draw on the front of them and they'd be great. Just filling his tail. Yeah, so as I say, I'm a bit sorry about the, the lighting. I, um, I'll try and sort that out later. And uh, there's a bit of a wobble as well on some of the um, uh, drawings. Uh, my setup probably isn't as stable as I'd like, but you know, it got done. Here we go. So there we go. Just a quick look at. Uh, whoops. Try. <laughs> Haven't quite got camera skills yet, folks, but there we go. Just show you a bit close up of these little chaps. I just think they're so good. But have a go if you fancy it. It's not hard work. And who's going to see it? If you're going to do it for yourself, just have a, you know, half an hour. Great. Thanks a lot. Bye.